Okay, Paul, Inventor 3 here. We're going to try some power readings today. Saturday. Well, it's not 12 o'clock anymore. That's what time I got here. I got a 1 kilo ohm. We're going to check the power with a 1 kilo ohm uh, resistor across the outputs. Uh, the, wrist, the resistor actually checks 984 ohms. So we're going to use that exact number. Uh, I got rid of the little red clip joining the two coils together. Made a nice solder joint there. And plus I squared up the coils more. I didn't cut the ends but I actually put a small little spacer cardboard in between the coils keeping them square compensating for the crookedness of the ends but the coils nice and straight I got the pipe up against one side of the coils which we found out is extremely important right now we're at 114.8 volts uh, let's see I'll show you current real quick so 135 say 135 micro amps okay so let me uh, turn the power off here Put that back on volts. Let's uh, disconnect our multimeter here. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera down again. I know you guys love when I do this. But it wouldn't be one of Paul's videos if we didn't set the dang camera down. All right, we're clipping on. I'll show you in one second. I'm clipping on the resistor. And let's get our digital multimeter hooked back up there also. Almost. Hang with me. Okay. I think we got it now. Okay. There we go. Here's our circuit. Okay, and I got two little wires now instead of my digital multimeter. I got the one kilo ohm resistor there with my digital multimeter checking across it. So, let's see here. This is the volts. Point. 125 let's say 0.125 volts okay let's come back right over here now let's go let's see I can see the calculator here uh, 0.125 times 0.125 equals divide by 984 a resistor equals let's see one two three four fifteen say sixteen <laughs> say sixteen what is that micro watts uh, I checked it the other day I got about twenty two but uh not much difference <laughs> So uh, we're way down there in voltage or power yet, 16 microwatts. Uh, I'm going to check power again. Uh, we're going to go back and connect another circuit on there. Go back to my old original dual circuit design which uh, cuts down voltage a lot but brings up the current a lot. I'll see what the power readings are like that. Uh, let's see, also, 
I think I'll try. I have this other pipe here. It's a little bit smaller diameter than the one I have in there right now. It'll actually fit inside this other one. Uh, I'm going to try that in there in replace and see if there's any difference between a smaller pipe or a bigger pipe. Uh, these two really don't have that much difference between the diameter of them, so I don't think there will be that much difference. If anything, I'd like to try a pipe that's the same diameter as the ID of the PVC tube here. Uh, but if this small one works just the same, I'm going to use it from now on and I'm going to take that larger pipe that's in there and maybe do an experiment where I will wrap the coil right around it and try to use it instead of these coils we have here. That way we will have copper all the way around the inside of the coils. And uh, we're still, I don't know how much time I'll have today. I'm going to do some more experiments with the coils and stuff and that. Uh, so it's going to take a while to make another coil up and wrap the coil around that pipe. And then the other thing I want to do yet is try to add a whole nother antenna and a whole nother circuit yet and combine the outputs and hopefully I could still use the same coil and ground. They could share the same coil and ground. So that's our power readings for now. Not much to squawk about, but we'll get it up there. I'm sure of things. Uh, especially when we start figuring out more with frequencies and getting things to resonate here.